Hey, hey, welcome, welcome back to Dragon Quest 3, The Seeds of Salvation, I think it's called. Uh, I'm almost getting a little bit overwhelmed already with how this series just keeps throwing, like, crazy curveballs every installment. Like, there's so much happening already in this game. And <laughs> it's exciting. I'm definitely very excited. Time was... Time was Aliahan ruled over all the world. But then came the wars, and we lost all so many of our young men. They say it was the fighting which led them to close a teleportal to the mainland. There's stairs in here. Is this where the beds are? Yeah, that makes sense. Hello, person. Seems like the fellow in the room opposite tries to try to make himself a wrecking ball on that with a little accident. Judge bye bye. How badly he's hurt. Those things must be pretty dangerous. I I I only wanted to see what's on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> Ow, it, it hurts. Okay. So that's probably gonna be a thing later on in the game, Wrecking Ball or something, what the heck is that? I don't know. Hello, hello, hello! I'm your local guardsman on the bet on the beat, here to keep the streets free of trouble. You may set off on your quest, safe in the knowledge that your hometown is in good hands. Have you seen that funny little island off to the west of town? Walk a little way to the west of town, and you'll spot it soon enough. What's in the well? Hey, I can go in the well. Is there a monster down here? There's a house down here. Someone lives in this well. That's fantastic. Knock, knock. Hello. Welcome to Mini Metal Manor. You may not look it, but the boss here is a very important man. Get into his good books, and you won't regret it. Many thanks for dropping by. I'm trying to max out my collection of mini medals. If you find any, bring them to me and I'll make it maximally worth your while. Hmm? You brought me some? Well, don't just stand there, hand them over. I need to count how many they are. Let's see now. That's one mini medal you've brought to me so far. Oh, many thanks, many thanks. Bring your total up to five and you'll be the proud owner of a thorn whip. You can do it. It's not many more. Heaven knows why, but when I met the boss here, I got this strange feeling that he was a king and that I had to protect him. That's why I followed him down here, you see. It just feels like he's the kind of big shot the Archfiend or someone might want to bump off, you know? Hey, bookshelf reading. Frederick examines the bookshelf, pinned to the side is a list of mini metal prizes. Thorn Whip, Garter, Edged Boomerang, Strength Ring, Scholar Specs. Also, I noticed that there's kind of a jump, so the first, like, three are in sets of five, and then 20 and 25 were skipped, and then we were up to 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, so there's like a little gap in between Edge Boomerang and Strength Ring. Agility Ring, Weightlifter's Belt, Stealth suit, flame tang boomerang, Astrea's abacus, Mercury's bandana, dragon tail whip, dragon claws, dragon robe, staff of resurrection. That sounds fantastic. Blessed bikini and Gringham whip. All right, so there's probably some cool stuff but I don't think I'm going to be able to find nearly as many as I would hope. Because I bet there's going to be some hidden in some funky spots. You're Otega's son, aren't you? The hero? Your father was a great man. A truly great man. Welcome. If you're after weapons or armor, you've come to the right place. What can I do for you? these in the bag. I got two of these in the bag. No, no, none of these, of course. I got Wayfarer's clothes. Let's look at uh, my stuff right now. 
and bag is its own thing. Thank you. Thank you. I have extra storage just right here. Let me actually go status first and see defense and stuff like resilience is nine five six nine. So I am pretty good along with Frederick, the legendary hero Frederick Paragon. Uh, also, look at that strength, man. That's why I figured I was gonna have you basically be like my warrior. I didn't need to have a secondary warrior, and so I was like, I can go with a merchant. That sounds pretty cool, and I got this egghead. Thank you. Uh, I'm just really low on the agility on this guy, which is alright. Dorothy's freaking huge on luck. is really low on attack, but then again, she's the mage, so that makes a lot of sense. I need to give something for defense for this boy down here. His defense is real bad. Alright. You can have this close. Equip him now? Yeah. I'm really excited for this game, honestly, and I haven't even like gone into like a single battle or anything. But <laughs> like one of the things I loved about last game was like the two other dudes in your party, like they felt very much your own, and of course this game is even more so making you feel that. If you leave town and wander around long enough, eventually it'll get dark. And when that happens, you'll want to be careful. The meaner monsters just love the nighttime. Yeah, so there is a day-night cycle. Oh, on a nice sunny day like this, the whole idea of the Archfiend destroying the world just seems impossible, doesn't it? <laughs> Aliyah Han sits upon a body of land surrounded entirely by the sea. On the other side of that sea are masses larger than we island dwellers could ever imagine. Ah. Uh, if, o if could, I could only catch a glimpse of those distant shores just once before I die. Okay, we got the same services from priests. I have not checked this place yet, have I? Oh no, this is my house, hey! Welcome back, my darling. So, did you see the king? And were you nice and polite like you promised? Thank goodness for that. I was petrified you trip over or say the wrong thing. I trip over my words and say the wrong thing all the time, but, uh... In a video game, it's like this. It's impossible to trip. I l That's, like, one of the only good things about Animal Crossing is whenever you have a bad luck fortune or whatever causes you to trip. That is... That is tripping mechanics should be in every video game. Or, well, it doesn't matter now. You've had the king's permission to go off adventuring. You're officially a grown-up at 16 years of, of age. Amazing. Anyway, you must be ever so tired after all that excitement. Off to bed with you, sweetums. And then we had a nice, uh, group sleep. Morning, darling. Go off now. Go on now. Off you go to some adventuring. Ortega was a real hero, or was real hero material, you know. I can't talk. Your father was something special, and his father before him. <laughs> You've a lot to live up to, Frederick. Don't let your grandfather down. Hey, money. Sorry, Grandpa. I'm ready letting you down. 
Wait a second. There might be something in the barrels. Hey, herb. I would like that. And now I have at least plain clothes to sell. So I'm pretty good on regular items. I, at least I like to feel like I am. I want to see if my little bit of money can buy me anything else cool. Like a copper sword would be pretty nice, but that's a uh, hundred. I already got everything of those. Wayfarer's clothes is only 70, and Dorothy could totally equip those. So that means everyone could wear those. That's nice. Leather shield. Our leather armor and leather shield are also pretty cool things to look forward to. But it's time to actually go out into the world. Let's get into a battle. Oh, there's like a little island I was told to look for. Stark Raven. Tactics. Oh man. I'm a little overwhelmed already. Again, show no mercy. Fight wisely. Watch my back. Don't use magic. Focus on healing or follow orders. means I get to choose what they do, right? I'm going to try a little bit of the auto stuff. Wait. Dorothy is the mage, not the healer. Fight wisely. Pierre, focus on healing. I can do stuff for all as well. So I can say all follow my orders and take complete control. I think. I don't know. Well, let's try fighting. Yes, and it just skips straight to Laws Laws because hey. Frizz. Ooh, interesting cool new effects. Alright. Party member receives two experience, you got five coins, an additional coin. So that's why it's nice to have a merchant because hey, I give us a little bit of a bonus. So I'm probably, if I ever have like these two, if I ever think of like additional people to basically create to join my team, I might just have taking control over them at that point, but right now I'll just have Pierre and Dorothy do their own whatever thing. This place looks cool. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Uh-oh. Bunnycorn? <laughs> I appreciate it. Frizz only attacks one. Alright, so it doesn't do a group attack. Taking some hits, I'm probably gonna have to go back and heal some sometime soon. Oh yeah, that's right, I do have healing right out the gate. coins. And hey, gotta level up for me. Oh! Wow! Wow we 6 HP and like 12 MP? And look at how nice it shows me. It got 0 strength, 2 resilience, 1 luck, 1 agility, and 1 wisdom. All at like one time. I could see all the stuff instead of having to like scroll through them or anything. That's cool.
medicinal herb. Do I have any spells? No, not yet. I'm excited to learn more about this game. Please, Pierre, heal yourself. Good job. I have to look and see how much max HP everyone has. I know level ups are real nice if they're gonna give me plus six or stuff like that. Pierre got an extra four HP and seven MP. One strength, two resilience, and one wisdom. Learn poof. Dorothy reached level two. HP went by three. No MP, I guess. Got one resilient and one luck. Uh, Dorothy, you're disappointing already. Max is 13, so you don't have very much. And you only have 14. Ooh, eh. So I don't really want to waste... I, I saw that you're kind of low on health, but you're always going to be kind of low on health, you guys. Wayfarer's close. Alright. Oh, that went to... Frederick, I guess. Many wing bad, as I like to do. Thinking about giving it to Dorothy at first, and I'm like, nah, nah, I need a healer. I like healers, they're they're important. Looks like there's a gap right down there between those two transitions. is dead. That's alright, we can continue on without Dorothy. She didn't have any MP left anyway. I wonder what Frederick's, uh... Maximum HP is. Hey, speaking of which, Frederick reached level two. Got seven more HP, one MP, so he gets MP in this game. I mean, he already has some MP. I gotta see if he's got any spells. He's got four additional strength and three resilience. Learn Frizz. There's a spell for sure. Balls Balls is level three. With seven extra HP and three more MP. Got one strength, two agility. Four resilience, two wisdom, and one luck. I swear, like, I guess it's better just to make your own characters because all of a sudden, uh. Lols Lols is getting important level ups while Pierre and Dorothy kind of sucked in that regard. Max HP is 24. I already have a higher max HP than Frederick. Fifty-six gold coins. Also, I want to mention that I'm definitely really happy with the coffin following being a thing still. Ooh. Ooh. This is a cool looking place. Batterfly? Ooh. 
still basic enemies though, they're still doing very low damage. Also, let me look at uh, spells and stuff. Here has heal, of course. But I want to look at spells in battle to see. Maybe I think Frederick still just only has that one frizz that he just learned. But uh, Lols Lols hasn't learned any spells yet, but he's getting MP. Money, yay. Cody, hello! Look at that funny, funny frog, I like him. These are two good enemies, new to this game. I'm very happy with these already. I really like the enemies in the previous game as well, so Dragon Quest 2 and Dragon Quest 3 are really meshing well with me, even from the start. How much does heal cost? The gear is not using it, but... Maybe he will soon, because he needs it on himself. Pierre! There you go. Level up, buddy. Got 3 HP and 3 MP, plus 1 and everything. Huh. That's... Oh, that's red. I can't go in there yet. It's not... It's not... I want, I want to explore other split path. I wonder if they lowered the... Oh, look at Ant Nibbler. <laughs> I'm liking a lot of these enemies, a lot. But, uh... I wonder if they lowered the encounter rate, because I'm surprised with, like, how long of stretches I can go without getting attacked, or if it's just the encounter rate will increase as I go into further dangerous areas. See how long I get to walk before I'm in a battle? That's kind of crazy. Pierre. Okay, first off, uh, let me see. Just got that single enemy, single, singes a single enemy with a small fireball. And there goes Pierre. I was thinking I should have tried to use a medicinal herb on him, but uh, that wouldn't have happened because Frederick still took his time to do his attack. Ooh, a treasure chest! And got a medicinal herb, which I can make use of that. The two of us will have to carry on the important characters. Frederick will ever be able to learn the heal spell then. Frederick might be like the super well rounded character, like the hero of uh, the first Dragon Quest, who knows? Hey, level up! Level 4 for lols lols. Got 5 HP, 3 MP. Additional 1 strength, wisdom, and luck. 3 additional agility. And 2 resilience. Those are the stairs I came from, correct? Or are they not? I am confused. I have lost my way in here already. 20 points of damage, Frederick. Wow, we. We ready? Hitting hard. All right. Maybe not. Let me try going up here. A 
Hello. C customers, after all this time, I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. Welcome to our inn, where weary travelers. It'd be four gold per night for a room. Will you be staying? Yep. Hell yeah. That doesn't revive my other two, but I mean, I don't mind. Oh, enemies are here too. We got more ant nibblers. So we have like an inn that is like this close to fights. That's cool. That could be actually pretty useful for training up people. But I'm not going to get into training until I actually have a party of important people rather than just Frederick and Lol's Lol's with two throwaway people. Hey, Frederick reaches level 3. Got 6 HP, 1 MP. Got 1 agility and wisdom, 2 strength, and 3 resilience. More stairs. This is a full battle. I may want to run away considering two people are getting. Six Macs are getting delivered to a group of two people. I can try fighting and then heal up maybe though. I knew it was a bad idea. I knew it was. Let's get out of here. What happens if I leave out of this place entirely? Yeah, I thought this was right out here. Alright, alright. Um, I don't want to battle right now. I want to get back to the castle. That's going to be a little bit of a trek. Honestly. But it would be cool. Ouch. It would be cool if there's other services other than just an inn in here. If there's like a priest around, that'd be really nice. But I need to go to that inn straight away. Hey, I'd like to take a nap, please. Had <laughs> to somehow. <laughs> Figure my way out of here. Trust you had a restful sleep? Do come again. Slept very well with these coffins to accompany me. No thank you, please. The ant nibblers just don't attack uh, at all if if you don't provoke them. So if I try to flee and I fail, or I guess I get out of there. I was about to say, if I fail, does that mean that I don't get hurt at all? I can probably take on this fight. shot the Stark Ravens too, so I'm pretty solid. They have either 7 or 8 HP, that's all I know. The Stark Ravens. Okay, we are out. Back to the castle. Which, that cave is all the way over here, dang it. Let me free. Don't kill me with small little pokes. I don't want to die in an embarrassing fashion. Please don't do this. Don't do this. Reconsider. Reconsider.
No, no! Get out. Get out of here. Just gonna walk my way over to the priest and get my my stuff. Ten coins, nice. Okay, I was worried that was gonna be like a hundred coins per person. I'm gonna be out of luck for re reviving everyone. I bet it's gonna be different per every place you go to. As I get further in the game, it's gonna increase in price to, to resurrect people, probably. Much like inns get more expensive as you progress in your quest. That's awesome. All right, I got my my party back. Let me go rest up. And that was uh, our dipping our toes into the battles and the exploration. I guess next episode we'll actually make the real progress. Also, I wonder if that one little girl is still on the side of that castle. What are you still doing here, huh? They said that the hero Ortega set off on his quest from the teleportal that used to be off in to the east of here. I wonder where it led. Oh, I'm so jealous that he got to find out. Alright, well, next time our adventure continues and we get to see where that dungeon leads to, because that dungeon actually seems very exciting. It started out just like a little rock, rocky cave, and then suddenly it was like a subterranean temple, then it was like a really cool building of some sort, but uh, I feel like we're probably almost our way through it. I can't wait to see uh, if there's something important there, because I don't exactly know what I have to do right now. I bet someone in town has explained it, and I have ejected it from my memory post-haste, as per usual. So until next time, see ya guys. Have a good one.